Assalamu everyone, welcome to Physics with Noshir Alam and today we're discussing the first chapter of O-Levels which is Physical Quantities. Now when you begin Physical Quantities, the first thing that I want you to know is what is a base quantity. A base quantity is a quantity that cannot be split any further into simpler quantities. I mean, I'm going to explain it a little bit later. But first, you should know what the base quantities are. So, as you can see, you, the quantities which we call as base are length, time, temperature, current, amount of substance, and light intensity. You have to remember This is a very important table. This table is O level ke end tak chalta hai. and whenever you have a confusion ke length ka unit kilometer hai to usko convert karna hai nahi karna current uh, milli ampere mein hai ampere mein dena hai ya nahi dena is tarah ke jab bhi sawalat aapke zehn mein hai main hamesha bolta hu go back to the table that i taught on the first day which is ke length ka unit kya tha ye si unit hai uska length ka unit mit meter time ka second temperature ka kelvin so let me write that down for you as well. It stands for it. This is not the unit. This is just for you to know. Length ka unit is meter. This is how you write meter. Then time ka unit is second. S-E-C-O-N-D. Then temperature ka SI unit is Kelvin. Although we use Celsius, but the unit SI unit is Kelvin. Then you have current, which is measured in ampere. And then amount of substance, mole. And light intensity is measured in candela, CD. I want to emphasize on three particular quantities, temperature, current, and light intensity. Because there's something special about their unit. Can you guess? Please note that the quantities in the star in subcritic units, hai, they are in caps lock. Do not forget that the unit shuru hoga, wo pehla letter capital hoga, dusra letter chota hoga. So, agar single letter is capital hoga. Nige, they can single letter is smaller, ye single letter is smaller. Now, if the question is why, well, we need to go around 200 years back and ask them, yes, they don't know what they are doing. But now, the convention set ho hai, that's why we are just following the convention. Mole ka M chota, candela ka C bada, A bada, K bada, M chota, or SP chota. Alright, so the units are in caps lock for these quantities. And another thing that I want you to mention and note is that the ampere ye kiska unit. Hai? Now, a lot of people say current ka unit. Hai. Bhi current hai hai. But actually, this is wrong. The reason is, and it's and it's a very common mistake. Current has no unit. Why? Because if you understand from your daily life, question is, what is current? Current is a disturbance. So, if you have a sea, you have a water currents feel. In the air, you have a air currents feel. So, the current is a very general thing. This means disturbance. So, this current is the unit ampere. This is the electric current. So, remember that current ka unit ampere is not the electric current. The unit is the ampere. This please baat nahi bolni. Very, very important. The second thing I want to talk to you about is why are these quantities called as base quantities? But why is this a base quantity? For that, I'll give you an example. Let's say you take an object and this object's length is 5 meters. Okay? Now, tell me that when I break this object from the center, it will be two pieces of it. Let's say I break it from the center, it will be two pieces of it. Can somebody tell me what is the length of this part? The length of this part would be 2.5. 2.5 kya? Ke ke Kelvin, ampere, kilograms, what? The answer to that would be 2.5 meters. And this part would also be 2.5 meters. In this table, I think I forgot one very important quantity, which is mass. So mass is another quantity, which unit hota hai 
kilograms kg and let me write it down kilogram and again the unit has a small k don't forget acha baat ye ho rahi thi ki ye 5 meter length thi hamari humne isko toda aur tod ke ye do aise bane 2.5 2.5 meters ke theek hai now let's say aap kehte hain ki we want to split it further okay we we'll split it further and you get this section let's say this was right in the middle so the number will be 1.25 1.25 kya 1.25 meters wo second story ban jayenge wo mole story ban jayenge so ye jo cheez hai jo shuru mein meters thi aur end tak meter hi reh rahi hai change nahi ho rahi yaad rakhiye isse fark nahi padega ki centimeter ho ya millimeter as long as end pe m nazar aa raha hai end wala letter last letter is m wo jo centi aur milli hai wo kya hota hai wo main abhi aapko thodi der mein samjhata hu but last letter jab tak same reh raha hai तो हम कहेंगे ये क्वांटिटी बेस है इसको जितना मर्जी तोड़ लें ये बहुत छोटी हो गई तो माइक्रोमीटर बन जाएगी तो एंड पे क्या लफ्ज़ आया मीटर सो रिमेंबर दैट इफ द एंड यूनिट इमेज द सेम दैट क्वांटिटी इज अ बेस क्वांटिटी अब कौन सी चीज़ बेस क्वांटिटी नहीं है उस क्वांटिटी को हम बोलते हैं डिराइव क्वान्टिटी न वॉट इज़ अ डिराइव क्वान्टिटी अ डिराइव क्वान्टिटी इज a quantity that is formed due to the algebraic manipulation of base quantities now what do we mean by algebraic manipulation algebraic manipulation means ke aap hamare table ko dekho is table ko aur is mein se koi si do quantities ko utha ke multiply or divide karo as long as it's making sense to maine kya kiya maine length aur time ko upar niche divide kiya so i did length over time and it made a quantity which is called speed so speed is a derived quantity why because i picked up two base quantities and i divided them ab agar aap notice kare main aapse puchu speed ka unit kya hona chahiye to ab aapko samajh aa jayegi ki koi mushkil baat nahi hai uski wajah ye hai length ka unit kya hai meter time ka unit kya hai second to speed ka unit kya hoga speed ka unit would be please write it down meters per second isko yu bhi likh sakte ho aur isko ms minus 1 bhi likha ja sakta hai बिकॉज एस की डिनोमिनेट पावर वन है एज यू ब्रिंग इट टू द न्यूमिनेटर यू डन दिस इन मैथ यू गेट एस रेज टू पार्ट माइनस वन बट बिसाइड आई वॉन्ट की द मैथ आउट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू एस्क यू अ सिंपल थिंग कि अगर मैं आपसे कहता हूँ कि मेरे पास एक ऑब्जेक्ट है और उस ऑब्जेक्ट की स्पीड है ट्वेंटी फाइव मीटर्स पर सेकेंड ओके तो मैं आपसे कहता हूँ कि मुझे बताएं जी इसमें से क्या क्या इन्फॉर्मेशन मुझे मिल सकती है आप कहेंगे जी इसमें से आपको टू पीस ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन मिल सकते हैं एक आपको डिस्टेंस के बारे में पता चल सकता है और एक आपको टाइम के बारे में पता चल सकता है सो सो फार दिस 25 मीटर पर सेकंड इज टेलिंग यू दैट यू आर कवरिंग अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ 25 मीटर्स इन वन सेकंड सो डू यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस वन क्वांटिटी इज गिविंग यू टू डिफरेंट क्वांटिटीज अनलाइक अ बेस क्वान्टिटी जिसके अंदर फाइव मीटर वॉज दी गिवन इन्फॉर्मेशन उसको तोड़ते गए तो मिला टू पॉइंट फाइव टू पॉइंट फाइव पता चला ट्वेंटी फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड को तोड़ा तो उसमें से ट्वेंटी फाइव मीटर से लेदा हो गया और टाइम वन सेकेंड लेदा हो गया यूनिट चेंज हो गया अब डिस्टेंस को और तोड़ोगे ट्वेंटी फाइव मीटर्स को और तोड़ोगे तो फिर वही वाला काम शुरू हो जाएगा मैं यहाँ पे ट्वेंटी फाइव लिख देता हूँ तो आप कहेंगे जी आधा हिस्सा करेंगे ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव मीटर्स ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव मीटर्स यूनिट तो नहीं चेंज रहा यूनिट तो वही रह रहा है सो एज वी प्रोग्रेस फर्दर यू विल अंडरस्टैंड कि डिराइव क्वान्टिटीज आर फॉर्म्ड थ्रू बेस क्वान्टिटीज बेस क्वान्टिटी वो होती है जिसका यूनिट तोड़ने के बावजूद सेम रहे Now let's discuss the prefix table. As you can see in this table, I've already enlisted some prefixes for you. You may be aware of some of them, you may not be, but that's okay. That's what I'm going to do, and I'll explain every one to you. Let's start off with the most common pre prefix that we use. It is small k, and small k stands for kilo, and kilo is actually ten raised to power three. That's a smart way of writing in the standard form. Kilo stands for a thousand. Now, kilometer, as I mentioned, when you write one km, so m to its unit is gone. This k what is it? This k its prefix is, and its prefix is a value, which is ten is part three, which can also be written as one thousand. Next, you have. Let's go up first. Next, you have mega, represented by the prefix capital M. and the value is 10 raised to the power 6 you have to memorize these 
Then you have giga, which is 10 raised to the power 9, and it's, the prefix is capital G. And then you have tera, which is 10 raised to the power 12. This tera not written, it's tera, okay? Terabyte. Gigabyte. Megabyte. I'm sure you must be aware of the words. Mega ke liye, jo ek commonly used word hai, that is million. Giga ke liye, it's billion. And here, can you guess what is for T? I'll leave you guessing. So, mega is million. So, when they say millions of something, they actually mean 10 is part 6 of that something. So, then say millions of people flocked to the provincial capital. So that means that 10 is to power 6 people flocked to the capital. Now, when they say millions, they could mean 2 million, 3 million, 4 million. For example, if they say you had 2 million bugs in the computer. So that means that you had 2 into 10 is to power 6 bugs in the computer. So this table is really, really helpful. So when you say that I download at a speed of, I don't know, 10 GB per second. I, I wish that was the speed. So you would write it as 10 into 10 is to power 9 BPS. Bits per second. Okay. This is not important. This is important that you need to understand that the prefix is important and the prefix ki value ko yaad honi chahiye. Ab ye toh, aapne dekho ga, ye sari values bade ki taraf ja rahi hai. To ye value kilo se kam bhi toh ho sakti hai. Bilkul ho sakti hai. Toh kam ki taraf chalte hai. Sab se pehli value aati hai, joh prefix hai, d, jis ka matlab hai deci. Deci is 10 raised to power minus 1. Then you have the prefix C, which stands for centi. Centi is 10 raised to the power minus 2. I'll explain this. Then you have milli. Milli stands for 10 raised to the power minus 3. Then you have micro. Micro is represented by U. A milli or micro, dono M's start with them, so they had to differentiate. So you will notice that one has represented M and one has represented U. So U represents micro. Micro stands for 10 raised to the power minus 6. Small n stands for nano, which is 10 raised to the power minus 9. And small p, this is small p by the way. It's not capital P, small p. Small p stands for pico. And the value is 10 raised to the power minus 12. Now, you must have heard that the length of the pencil is 15 centimeters. For example, now you have to use it. और वो कहते हैं मुझे मीटर्स में कन्वर्ट करके दें इसको तो आपने कुछ भी नहीं करना आपने सिर्फ टेबल में जाना है और आपने टेबल में जाके देखना है ओके इस टेबल में सेंटी की वैल्यू क्या थी 10 इस पर माइनस 2 ये आपको याद होगी और आप कहेंगे अच्छा ठीक है तो यहां पर सेंटी लिखा हुआ है 10 इस पर माइनस 2 तो ये जो सेंटी की वैल्यू है ये हो गई 10 इस पर माइनस 2 ये एम क्या चीज है ये तो यूनिट है तो यूनिट वैसे का वैसे आ जाएगा तो व्हाट विल डू यू राइट 15 एज इट इज सी की जगह यू राइट इट्स वैल्यू व्हिच इज 10 रेज टू पावर माइनस 2 or Agioska unit. So this is 15 in 10 to minus 2 meters. And you will get 0 0.15 meters. You can even write that. Some people, because you were coming from grade 8, you would teach that 15 ko 100 pe divide kare, to meter mein chala jayega. Answer will come. You have indices in grade 8. Mein, so 15 divided by 10 is to power 2. And if I take it to the top, then it will become 15 into 10 is to power minus 2 which is the same thing as what I started off. All I'm saying is, the trick is that you remember the value of C. You will probably not learn this in grade 8, that you will reach 10 to the power 2, and you will reach here. Now I'm going to teach you that centimeter directly. Millimeter, you will know that 10 to the power minus 3 is going to be multiplied. Micrometer, 10 to the power minus 6. Okay, it can happen. So it's not always meter. Let's say, he says that your computer's response time is your computer's response time that is 5 microseconds. Okay. So what does 5 microseconds mean? That means that the response time is 5 into 10 is to power minus, look at the table, minus 6 seconds. Again, because second to aapka unit tha. 
वो वैसे के वैसे ही रहा माइक्रो वॉज अ प्रीफिक्स और उस प्रीफिक्स की वैल्यू आपको टेबल में गिवन है एज यू कैन सी ओवर हीयर यू जस्ट पिक अप द वैल्यू प्लग इट इन एंड गुड टू गो सो लेट मी गिव यू क्वेश्चन वॉट इफ आई टेल यू आई वॉन्ट यू टू डिवाइड वन गीगा मीटर्स बाय थ्री माइक्रोमीटर्स एंड आई वॉन्ट यू टेल मी वट द आंसर वुड बी I want to divide one gigameters by three micrometers. Pause the video. Play the video once you've answered. So I hope that you pause the video and then answer the question. Now one over three is zero point three three. Remember, in O levels, never leave something as a fraction. Always convert it into decimal places. Then, the value of giga was ten raised to power. Nine. The value of micro was ten raised to power minus six. Or ये ऊपर भी meter है नीचे meter है ये cut जाएगा. So this quantity that you get is zero point three three into ten raised to power fifteen. Why? Because this minus six goes up. Fifteen can't say that this will this came from nine plus six. So giga was ten raised to power nine. Micro was ten raised to minus six. That ten is from minus six went up. It became plus six. So what is nine plus six? That's fifteen. So your answer is three zero point three three in ten to the power fifteen. Or if you want to write in standard form, you can write three point three into ten raised to power fourteen. I hope this is clear to you. And if it isn't, then don't worry. I'm here for you. देखो point three three को हम ऐसे भी तो लिख सकते हैं 3.3 पॉइंट थ्री इंटू टेन एज टू पार माइनस वन जस्ट दिस पार्ट बिकॉज वैन यू मल्टीप्लाई टेन एज टू पार माइनस वन विथ थ्री पॉइंट थ्री तो ये डेसिमल प्लेस इधर चला जाएगा बन जाएगा जीरो पॉइंट थ्री थ्री ये बात समझ आती है कि पॉइंट थ्री थ्री को आप लिख सकते हो थ्री पॉइंट थ्री इन टेन माइनस वन और उसके साथ फिर आपने टेन एज पर फिफ्टीन लिखा हुआ था वो टेन एज पर फिफ्टीन वापस लिख दें उसके साथ तो ये क्या बन जाएगा जब इसको सॉल्व करोगे दिस बिकम थ्री पॉइंट थ्री इंटू टेन रेज टू पावर फोरटीन All right. If you still have trouble with it, I would suggest go and revise indices from mathematics. Very simple thing, not very confusing. But we will be using it a lot, so I hope that you get a grip. Remember to memorize the prefix table. Remember to memorize the units. And that is it for the first lecture.